to be our like virtual dog park. Hey Fluffy, hey Fido. Alright, we got the time. Alright guys, we got two minutes. This is really the perfect complement to what we just did. This is gonna be amazing. Uh, I tell you why, because my body is absolutely screaming for this. I'm smoked. I shit you guys not. I've been working out harder with you guys than I have my own. So I feel your pain. So again, at the, uh, when we start everyone, my suggestion is get some mellow, chill playlist, throw it in the background, you can mute me if you want and just follow the leader, just zen out, let's try to get our mind right too. What's up Al? Julie, what's up? Christine? Saja, what up? You got some headphones on, throw them in. This is going to be a nice transition and a really good flow. Oh, wow. I was telling Matt this morning, I'm like, this is like a, a perfect day to stay home. It's cold, well, it's a little chilly, it's rainy, dark, gloomy, and I'm pumped that I get to see all of you guys today. You can be my ray of sunshine. All right, so we're going to start with your cap. So if everybody can for me, please just start to get down to your butt. Throw the full roll, whether a short one or a long one, under your left or right calf. Left or right calf. And let's just start rolling out our left calf. Let's start right there. And again, find the most painful spot in that calf and let's roll over it. Keep going. So if my fist represented that knot, I want to roll over and back. I want to roll over and back that very tight or painful spot. Now, very important here, how painful should this be? Not too painful, but painful enough. On a scale of one to 10, I'm hoping that we should be hovering around a six or seven. If it's too painful, that muscle will never be able to relax and therefore will never accept that newfound mobility. All right. So during these 15 seconds, you can give yourself a little more, but we'll look at the transition to the other calf. And in about seven seconds, let's start rolling out that other calf, or you can start early. All right. Now, if you, if you did this, if you worked out beforehand, your triceps might be a little tired, might be a, having a hard time holding your fanny off the ground like I am. So your butt should just scrape on the carpet or on your beautiful hardwood or tile floors. If you look over, you might see your dog dragging itself on the carpet. That's what we're doing. Dragging that itchy butt. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Looking good, looking good. You'll notice one calf will be a lot more uncomfortable than the other calf. We are in balance. We have asymmetries. One part of our body is always more beat up than the other part. It's human nature. The best athletes have the most asymmetries. All right, so here, get into a side plank position. Let's throw that full roll under your IT band. Under your IT band. Somewhere between your knee and your hip is this really long, cranky muscle. This muscle can be the culprit for causing knee pain or back pain. So you want to stroke the entire side of that IT band when you find the most painful spot, that's where we just want to rock and roll over it. If I'm hearing you guys right and I'm looking at your faces, the whole damn thing is pretty tight, it's pretty uncomfortable, but keep working it. Again, it's just like a cold piece of dough or putty. The more you massage it and knead it, the more pliable it will become. Every time I say the word pliable now, I think of Tom Brady, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. All right, stay on this leg, stay on this leg, fly face down. We're gonna transition to the quad, which is the front of your leg. Somewhere between your knee and your hip will lie that quad muscle. Muscle, sorry. Same deal. Let's roll up and down. You can internally rotate, you can externally rotate a bit. Just find where it is most uncomfortable 
and let's start to roll, baby, roll. Woo! This is, this is also considered a moving plank, so we are getting some core work here too. If your MyZone belt is still on, we're still milking those MEPs, which is all good. So I, I've been forgetting to wear my MyZone belt every single time we do uh, one of our strength sessions, our half hour strength sessions, so I'm losing a lot of MEPs. Don't be me. Hey Sherry, jump in baby. Two, one, okay, stay on this leg, stay on this leg. Let's go inner thigh. So really open up that leg. I'll turn around and show you this view is better. I'm really gonna open my inner thigh and keep my hips off the ground. Work it, baby. Work it. For me, it's most uncomfortable the closer I get to my knee. For you, it may be closer to your groin, but let's just find where it is the worst. And let's bust it up. I love the Ferguson pair. That's dual full roller, baby. I love it. Looking good, looking good. Nice. Dig into it. Find the most uncomfortable spot and just rock and roll on it, please. Thank you. Now let's go to the other leg. Other leg, so this time we're gonna work the other leg, starting with your IT band. Side plank position, please. Find where it is most uncomfortable. Now this is just me speaking. This leg for me is riddled with knots, adhesions, it's not like my other leg. This, one, this is hell, this leg. I almost feel like it's like I'm off-roading on a dirt bike. It's like doo -doo 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 -doo. Everything is uncomfortable. Another underappreciated part of mobility and flexibility training is breathing. Inhaling through your nose, expanding your belly. Exhaling through your mouth, belly gets smaller. What that's doing, it's relaxing your entire diaphragm, your pelvic floor, all those core musculatures which all intertwine. If your core, stay with me, is able to relax, Everything surrounding it will appreciate it and therefore relax too. Let's go face down for your quad. Somewhere between your knee and your hip lies that brutal, brutal quad muscle. That muscle should be screaming at you after all the squats, hops, lunges, monster walks we've been doing all week. Keep in mind, this week coming up, schedule's gonna open up a bit. You're gonna see a lot more variety, a lot more weight training, a lot more fun stuff, a lot more special guests, lots of cool stuff coming your way. I'm super excited. Lots more cooking with the coaches. There's a lot of cool shit. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully we're in front of you all day, every day. 5 through a.m. all the way till 8 p.m. We want to be in front of you. Whether you're doing the activity or just creeping and watching us, we're good. Nice job. All right. Now, I'm going to turn and face you so you can see this. Lying face down, we want to open that inner thigh and that leg here. Just like so. Nice work, my friends. Now, I would recommend if you don't have some sort of chill, kick-ass playlist, you can break away for a second, throw something smooth on, outside of just hearing me heavy, nasally breathing. Let the music Touch your soul, baby. Something smooth, maybe some Enya, maybe some Ario Speedwagon. Anybody watching Ozark? Yeah, yeah, I watched the whole damn season last night, dude. I just slept, went right through. <laughs> 10 seconds. Whew. Every time I think of Ario Speedwagon, I think of Billy Madison when he's sitting on his, his Corvette. Firebird, sorry. G jacket. All right. Staying with your left side. Sit on the left butt cheek, please. Now, let's see if we all can get this from afar. If you're sitting on your left, your left leg is crossed over your right, and you're leaning left. Ho oh, hallelujah, Jeff Ferguson, you got this, baby. And roll up and down. Oh. 
This whole damn week has been bootylicious. For some of us, this may be a problem putting our leg up. This is quite all right too. You can do this, you can grab it like this, but ultimately we want to work kind of the side, back of the butt, because these are all part of internally, externally rotating our hip, which for most of us these days is going to get locked up because we're going to be at home sitting our asses down. It's human nature. Two, one, all right. Ugh. So let's switch it up. If you're sitting on your left, your left leg is crossed over your right. How are we doing, Christine? Hand right. Oof. If you're sitting on your right, your right leg is crossed over your left and you're leaning to that right. Looks good, Sherry. Does anyone else think this is much needed after the week you had? <laughs> yes. Holy smokes. Oh, man. So everyone asks me, how come, how come we don't listen to music in the background? Copyright issues. If we were to play this on Facebook, post it to YouTube, we just can't share that link. So, and my taste of music is probably not your taste of music. Unless you like mid-90s hip-hop and rap. Okay, here we go. Let's take this full roll. Let's go right between your shoulder blades. Not your lower back, not your neck. Right between those shoulder blades. Hands behind the head. Try to touch those elbows in front of your face and let's just roll up and down. For me, I always feel a lot of snap, crackle, and pop in here. Now it's okay for us to lean a little bit to the left, to lean a little bit to the right. Quite all right. Snap, crackle, pop, snap, crackle, pop. Probably the most beneficial thing about foam rolling is that there are a lot of these areas in our bodies which don't get a lot of movement or love. It just yields and recruits uh, circulation which yields healing agents. So it's all good, baby. Just like turning that light switch on. All right. Okay, now this one is probably most of our least favorite but most needed. If you were to take the full roll, put it into your armpit, just make sure most of that full roll is behind you. Both hands behind your head. Start to shimmy around until you find the most tender spot. All right, I got it. Now from here, lean back and lean forward into it. This should not be crushing your rib cage. It should not be massaging your tricep. It should really just be Tender, tenderizing that insertion point of your lat muscle, your rotator cuff, all those tight muscles which give us back posture and really just aren't helping us with our daily routine. Work it, work it, nice. Three, two, stay here. Give yourself a little more love, stay here, stay here. All right, now when I say go, let's just do a quick switch to the other side. All right, switch. And go. Work it. Again, just like most of these foam rolling exercises, one side is going to be terrible. The other side might be a little more bearable for me, but this side's absolutely terrible, which means I'm going to spend a little more love on this one later. Now, any of these that you feel are super tender, very uncomfortable, I would only ask that throughout the course of your day, that's where we need a little bit more work. If your IT bands are junk, throughout the course of the day, if you're working from home, give yourself some IT band foam rolling love. It's all good. It's only going to help. Again, recruit those healing agents. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Here we go. I'd like everyone to get into a 90-90 position right away, just like this. Get back up a bit. Don't worry about it. We spent some I think we're going to spend a little more time here. Posture up, chest out, and start to dive forward here. Now today we're going to spend a little bit more time on this one. We're going to go through two rounds. 
lean forward, lean forward. If there was a laser beam coming out of your chest, it should really cut your shin in half. That's where you want to be. Now, in terms of your chest, we're looking to keep your chest out. We don't want to round forward. We want to present the logo, Christine, your stronger logo. We want to show the world. I'm proud. I'm in charge. Nice job, Jeff. Again, this isn't too good. This isn't too good. We want to stay right in the center. Keep driving forward. Keep driving forward. All right, come out of it. Now here, all we're going to do now is we want to push a little further down the middle, a little further down the middle, and we want to shimmy around there. It's like if you're digging a hole. A straight line isn't always the best. Sometimes different angles help a little more. So, push forward, chest up, breathe, deep inhale through the nose, exhale. Now, down here, start to shimmy, presenting your logo. Back and forth, let's give yourself a lot of uncomfortable push here. Come out of it. Now with that newfound mobility, let's dive down a little further, keeping that chest out. Inhale, when you get stuck, inhale, when you get stuck through the nose, belly expands and breathe and push forward. Shimmy down here. It should be very uncomfortable. You should feel tight in the leg, in the butt, maybe in the inner thigh, it's all good. All right, nice job, okay. Let's stay here, just near me. If whatever knee is forward, I really want to rotate away from that, using that leg as a prop. Keep going. Try to look over that back shoulder and breathe. All right, unwind, come out of it, shake it off. If you've worked out before, this may be hard on your arms, it's okay. Let's rotate left again. Let's try to get a little more love here. Rotate, use that leg to push off of, turn, look over your shoulder. Turn, 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 turn. Unwind, and let's go one more. Switch legs, please. Oh, that felt good. Same rules apply here. We're gonna dive down forward for a bit. Not trying to hurt ourselves. Remember, grab the front leg, cut that leg in half, chest out. When you get stuck, just take a deep inhale, let your belly expand. Let that central nervous system relax. Exhale and lean forward. Perfect. All right. Shimmy around a little bit, keeping that chest out. Now everybody wants to, including me, my body wants to go here. It's the path of least resistance. It's not gonna do anything for my hips. Keeping that chest out, keeping that torso tall is where the magic is here. This time, we're going to push a little further. We're going to start shimmying a little more to the left, to the right. Let's get uncomfortable. Well, let's get comfortable being uncomfortable here. And let's dive now. Boom. Grab that front foot. Push, push. When you get stuck, deep belly breath, belly expands. <sighs> dive forward. All right. Gain and own that newfound mobility. Deep belly breath, exhale, push more, now start to shimmy around. Let your body know it's okay by belly breathing. Doesn't need to protect itself, we can get here guys, we're not in danger. The mobility monster has gotten all of us today. Rawr. What's up dog? <laughs> Two, one, all right. All right, so we're gonna posture up. We're gonna turn and rotate towards that front leg. From here, same rules, chest out, turn, look over that back shoulder. When we get stuck, take a deep breath, exhale, turn more. Now keep going, keep going. Remember, 
It's a constant rotation. There's always tension here. Always tension. Deep belly breath. Exhale and turn a bit more. All right, let's all unwind for a second. All right, shake it up. Let's dive right back into that again, please. Here we go, here we go, my friends. Rotate. Look over that shoulder. Get as much as you can. Steal it. All right, all right. All right, okay. Everyone now, want to get into a child pose. If you can, sit on your heels like you're in a dojo. We're going to go forearms down just like this. Forearms on the ground. We're going to take your right hand and thread it underneath. Keep going, keep going. Now, with that underarm, stretch as far as you can. Pretend there was a $100 bill just out of your grasp. Keep reaching for it. Keep stretching with your underarm. Keep stretching that arm out. Your ear should be close to the ground. Now thread out of it, come right out of it. Now let's go right back into it. Same arm, keep stretching, keep stretching. Perfect. What I'd like everyone to do now is to take that same arm, we're going straight out in front, thumb up, and we're coming straight up as high as we can. Two, one, stretch that arm up. I'm going to show you with this arm. Thumb up. As high as you can. High as you can. Try your best not to bend that elbow. The arm is straight. And there should be a constant tension of you always forcing that thumb up. You're always forcing that arm up. For most of us, that light switch just needs to be turned on. Come out of it. Bring the elbow back in. Let's slide that arm back up. Thumb up. As high as you can. Let's get it up, baby. Get it up. Perfect. All right, everyone, come out of it. Okay, now staying on this side, staying on that same side, take that same arm, all fours, one arm behind your head. Knees are beneath your hips, wrist beneath your shoulder. We're going elbow to elbow. We're going to turn and open up to the sky and breathe. Come back down. Let's go right back up. Open, turn the head, look at the sky, open up, keep going, come out of it. Elbow to elbow. When you come back up, when you get stuck, Take a deep belly breath. As you inhale through the nose, let your belly expand. As you exhale through your mouth, add a little rotation. Come out of it. Let's go right back up. Let's go for more rotation than ever right now. More rotation than ever. Keep pushing. Keep turning. Keep turning. Awesome work, everyone. Okay. We're all going to get right back down into child pose again. Now it's the other arm. And here's this view. I'm here, I'm threading, ear to the ground, and I'm going to keep reaching that arm up. So, go. Keep stretching. There's something very valuable just outside of your grasp. From here, we want to keep reaching, keep reaching, reach, reach, reach. Come out of it. Come out of it. Now, let's thread through again. Let's try to get a little more mobility here. As we thread through, ear to the ground, your head can actually rest on the ground if you like. Keep threading, keep turning that torso, and breathe. Keep reaching. We have about seven seconds. We're going to keep stretching. Three, two, one. All right. Stay in that child pose position. Heels to the butt, forearms are down. We're going to stretch that arm out. Turn the thumb up with that straight arm. Get it up. And go. As we're driving that thumb up, as we're driving that whole arm up, 
I would like everyone to take your opposite hand that's on the ground, drive it into the ground. Create tension there too. That's going to turn your core on. It's going to help you open up that scapular slash shoulder blades more. In 20 seconds, come down. Let's slide that elbow back in. Let's try for a little more range of motion. Let's try for a little more love here. So, stretch up, thumb up, get it up as high as you can. And keep stretching, keep reaching. Everyone looks great. Nice job, Al. Mike, you look great. Julie, Steph, Daria, Jen. All right, everyone. All fours. Hips above the knees, shoulders above the wrists. That same arm is behind your head. We're going elbow to elbow. Open up, turn the head, and breathe. And breathe. Open up, turn that light switch on. Breathe, breathe. Come out of it. Let's go elbow to elbow. Come on back up. Breathe. Come out of it. Right back up. So your eyes at the top, as we open up like we all are, should look right at the ceiling. Come back down. Come on back up. Two of the most crucial things we need to work on when we're sedentary, hips and T-spine. If those things aren't moving, your lower back is, which means lower back pain. All right, everyone. Everyone, just on one knee for me, please. Just one knee, and let me show you this. So if your hips were like a bucket of water, we want to tip that water out the back. We're going to work on that pelvic tilt. So, boom. As I tip that pelvis back, I really want to work on squeezing my butt. So if you need to put your hand back here and start to touch it, all right, it's on because it's tight. We're looking to lengthen and stretch all these muscles here. Squeeze, 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 all right, relax. So these are like little power thrusts. Again, pelvic tilt, squeeze as tight as you can. Put your back down here, to feel it. All right, that's great. Squeeze, squeeze, come out of it. Same deal, work that pelvic tilt, squeeze that bottom, feel that stretch in the front. Two, one, come out of it, and give you one more little one-sided air hump, and there we go, all right. I hope that makes sense to everyone. Naturally, because our hips get really tight, we all tend to migrate here, hips forward. So we just want to teach our body this here. One side of pelvic tilt is quite all right. And go, pull. The tighter our hips get, everyone, the more sleepy our ass gets. Our butt gets very sleepy, we don't like that. So the more we can help get our hips lengthened, the more recruitment we can get from our butt muscles which is what we're all trying to do, we're trying to get that booty going. It's all about the butt. Best athletes in the world got the best butts for a reason. Relax. Let's drive right into it again. Squeeze. Tight. Perfect. Squeeze it. Recruit those glute muscles. Come out of it. Give you one more good one. Boom. that one. All right, my friends. So if I can, let's get everyone up, everyone up. Oh, that feels great. We're all going to get into a split squat position. Grab your foam roll, please, with your hand. And let's just get a little lower than normal. When we're there, I want you to squeeze the foam roll as tight as you can and lean back. Build up that tension for three, two, one, Come out of it. Again, a little lower than we normally get. Lean back, squeeze that butt, drive your hands for five, four, three, two, come out of it. All right, switch sides. All right, same deal. Lower than normal, squeeze everything. Lean back, four, three, two, one. Stay with me. Four, three, two, Come on, then. All right. So, feet just a little bit further than hip width apart. Just a little bit further than hip width apart. We're going to squat a little lower than normal. Again, knees out, chest out, and squeeze the full roll. And breathe. Three, two, one. 
Come on. I don't know if you know this, but when you swish the full roll, it turns your core on. Here we go, lower. Swish. Five, four, shoulders back, three. Come on, two, one. Oh, I love it, I love it. Pretend somebody was pushing your knees together. Drive your knees out. Here we go again. Watch my knees, watch my knees. Boom, get them out. Three, two, up. All right, let's go for one more here, one more here. Your quad should be smoked. Boom. Four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Let's get rid of that. We're all going to get feet a little further apart. Let's add some locomotion here, please. All we're going to do is this. Work on full range of posture. Down, up, squeeze the butt. Down, up, squeeze the butt. Just keep going. Chest up. Keep going, keep going. I'm going to kill this timer because we don't need it anymore. Keep going, keep going. Here we go. Full range of motion. Okay, that's good. Let's try a little wider now. Sumo. I want everyone to open those hips. Open those hips and breathe. Chest out, shoulders back. Thank you. Work it. Work it. Come on, baby. Work it. Here we go. Everyone back up. Let's work on some lateral mobility. We're going to step to the left. Feet are straight. Sit and stretch. Come back up. If you watch me, I'm always presenting you with my chest. If I peek down at my feet, it's straight ahead. What we're trying to do now, my friends, is take that newfound mobility and let's add some real life movement to it. What's the point of having all these mobile muscles if our body doesn't understand they all work together? All right, let's work the other side, shall we? Good, good, Christine. Mike Benoit, I hope you're out of the picture. I miss you, baby. Chest up. So again, if there was a logo on your collarbone, I want to see it. Keep working. Keep working. Three, two, and let's go with one more good one. All right. Now I'm going to do some curtsies. These are either curtsies or you are a ninja warrior. Or you can be a ninja doing a curtsy. So we're all going to go leg behind and squat and come back. Leg behind, squat, and come back. What we really want to try, to try to avoid here, my friends, is turning the torso. You're always looking straight ahead with good posture. So either you're a ninja or you're a curtsy. Up to you. And again, you could be a ninja doing a curtsy. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. All right. Let's work the other side. You're just a ninja trying to assassinate many samurai. Are you up to the task? And again, if this bothers your knees, we're just looking for a little internal, external hip rotation here. That's all we're trying to do. All right, keep going, keep going. We got something good for you coming up. All right, now I want you to add both those together. This is going to mess with your mind. We're going to go lateral to a curtsy. Push lateral to a curtsy. Lateral to a curtsy. Lateral. Keep going. I'm watching you guys. Nice job, Steph. Daria, that's perfect. Saja, perfect. Work it. Facebook Live peeps, how are we doing? Step behind. Lateral. Switch sides. Perfect. Looking great. And again, those of you who just jumped in, lateral. Behind. Lateral. Behind. All right. Perfect. Everyone, please, down to all fours. Down to all fours. Now, I'll give you a cool little side view here. My shoulders are right above my wrists. My knees are right above my hips. My toes are just like so. 
Let's just lift our knees an inch, like so. From here, what I want is left leg, right arm forward. Then we're going to go right leg, left hand forward, and back. Same time. All right, together. Let's do this. Bring it on. When I say go, we're going right arm, left leg. Go. Together. Other side. Together. Go. Back. Back. All right. Right arm, left leg. Go. Together. Together. Come back. Boom. Boom. Knees down. Congratulations. You passed the first test, Ninja Warriors. The second one, the second time, I just want to train the brain a little more. Everyone look great. Let's pretend there was a glass of water on your upper back or lower back. Try not to spill that water. Sacred water from the Shaolin Temple. Here we go. All fours, knees up. We're going to concentrate on not spilling that water. Let's go together. Right arm, left leg together. Don't spill the water so it's going to be slower. Other arm, other leg. Boom. Come on back. Left arm, right leg. Boom. Don't spill the water. Come on. Boom. Together. Let's go through one more time. Don't spill the water. Come on back. Okay. Relax. Nice work, everyone. Shake it up. Woo. All right. Everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. We do some reaction type training. When people hear the word reaction or power training, they always think of an Olympic athlete doing a power clean. That's really not what it is. It's really us just training our brain to tell a portion of our body or our whole body what to do and it listen as fast as it can. So, we're just gonna do some lateral hops. Now here, don't jump to the ceiling. We're looking for soft landing. So it's gonna look like this, soft, Quiet, landing. Ready, set, go. How soft and quiet can we get our body to decelerate? That's what we're looking for here. Soft, quiet. Keep going. Keep going. Don't jump through the ceiling. Soft and quiet. Don't leave the ground too much, just enough to get your body to accept that soft landing. Perfect, perfect, all right. Shake it up. We're doing one quick reaction foot fire drill. So all I'm gonna ask everyone to do is imagine there's a ring in front of you. Stand inside that ring. The ring is about, I don't know, two feet wide. And what we're gonna do is go two in the ring, two out the ring. So using your imagination, we're just gonna simply go in the ring, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. As fast as you can, not as fast as you can. Ready? Go. In, in, out, out. And now, as we do this, everyone start to get a little more athletic in your hips. Butts out. Your chest is out. Now, start to add some speed. A little more speed. Use your arms. Run with your arms. Two in, two out. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Two in, two out. Nice job, people. Nice job, everyone. Quick, 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 quick. Again, two in, two up, two in, two up. Take a break, stop, stop, stop. Nice work. This next and final set of this, we are just gonna sharpen the sword a bit. We're gonna go a little quicker. A little quicker for our last time. We'll do this for 10 seconds. So, everyone in your imaginary ring of fire, in. In and out, up, go. In and out, up, in and out, up, in and out, up, in and out. Eight seconds. And break. Nice work. Nice work, everyone. All right. This last bit here, we're going to have some fun. We're going to work on some balance training. Everyone thinks they have good balance, or they think they have really bad balance. The good news is we're going to find out right now. So. Everyone's feet are touching each other. Just get nice and tall. And I want everyone to lift together your left foot one inch off the ground and hover. If you have a dog, this is going to be hard. And just balance. 
Now from here, what I want everyone to do, take your left hand, cover your left eye completely. Nine, eight, see? Everything has to work hard on your proprioceptors, you have a stimulus system, your inner ear. Three, two, one, open both eyes, leave that foot in the air. I want you to cover both eyes. Now, that vision we use for balance is out the window. Everything else is working harder. So you should be tapping the floor if you need to, unless you're daredevil, Marvel's daredevil, then you're good. All right, both feet down. Oh, nice job, everyone. By the way, for your parents and grandparents, that's a cool trick for them. If they want to just improve their balance, add bowl, brush your teeth, get next to a wall. It's amazing what that can do. Other foot, take your right foot, one inch off the ground, and let's own this for 10 seconds. And listen, it's fine if you need to. You can tap as much as you need to. Work it. You should feel all those feet muscles firing, maybe even your butt, your quad. It's all good. Two, one, right hand, cover right eye. Your feet should be working double time. Well, your one foot should be working double time. All right, here's the hard part. Ready? Let's cover both eyes. Peekaboo for 10 seconds. Your brain should be telling your foot to work harder. Your foot should be getting tired for three seconds. Two, one, all right, both feet down. Nice job. You guys are going to love me because one day you may or may not get pulled over by the cops after you had one or two glasses of wine. This is your field sobriety test right here. I'm, I'm training all of you. Okay, back to your right foot. On your right foot, I want you to lift that one inch, of the ground, one inch off the ground, your left foot one inch off the ground. I want you now to take your ear and bring it to your right shoulder as you turn your head. So just look to your right and add that constant motion. So you're asking, Frank, what are we doing here? We're training your inner ear now which is responsible for balance. If anyone ever had vertigo, once your vestibular system goes, you can't walk. So we're training that inner ear, your whole vestibular system. Turn it and come out of it. Turn it and come out of it. Let's go for five seconds. Four, tap your foot if you need to. Three, two, and let's go one more. All right, all right, huh. I feel that in my hip. I don't know about you guys. That's, for me, that's my hip. My hip is like, dude, this is hard. On your left foot, lift your right foot one inch up the ground. All right, now we're looking left. Turn your ear left and look forward. Left and look forward. We're going to keep doing this in a constant motion. Just training that inner ear as we go through. Strengthening everything. And not just relying on our vision for balance. Let's train everything, all right? Good balance, good strength, good power, good reaction time, good soul. Let's do it for five seconds. Four Three, two, and let's go one more. Okay, nice job. All right, everyone bring it in. Mike's on. Bring it in. Nice work. My Zoom peeps. Facebook Live. Kenny, Sandy, what's up? Hey, nice work, everyone. That was great. Hey, Caitlin, what's up? Hey, Frank. Hey, for, well, I, I see well, most of you guys I've spent the last two hours with. That was amazing. Uh, that was nice. I feel great. I hope you guys feel great. Um... I want everyone to, to look forward to tonight. I'm posting the whole schedule for this upcoming week. It is going to be amazing. My mission is to be in front of you from, five, not me personally, us, to be in front of you from 5.30 a.m. to 8 o'clock every single night. And please, we've had some really great ideas come through of what you guys need, what you guys want. Keep them coming. I'm here for you. I'm going to make sure you guys get everything and anything you want. Awesome work. Love you guys. Thanks, Frank. Great Thanks. job.